In this A-level IB biology video, I'm going to be discussing the topic of food chains. So let's start with a nice simple one of grass, which is eaten by a grasshopper. The grasshopper is eaten by a frog, and the frog is finally eaten by a python, which is a type of snake. Notice the direction of the arrow, which always shows the direction of energy flow. So the grasshopper feeds on the grass, the frog feeds on the grasshopper, the python feeds on the frog. Now each stage of a food chain is known as a trophic level and each stage or each trophic level has a particular name assigned to it. So food chains tend to start with producers and these are typically plants which photosynthesize and indeed that is true in this case where the grass is the producer. Something which eats the grass is obviously going to be known as a consumer and because the grasshopper is the first consumer we call it the primary consumer. Feeding on the primary consumer is the secondary consumer. And after that, you have the tertiary consumer. One other thing to notice is that most food chains reach a maximum of four trophic levels in length. And why is that? Why don't you end up with food chains typically with 10 organisms? Because 90% of energy is lost at each stage of the food chain. And there is not enough energy to sustain another level. Now occasionally you do get food chains which do contain five trophic levels. These tend to be marine or aquatic environments and that's because so much of the sun's energy reaches that surface of the ocean or the sea that the phytoplankton have a really great time photosynthesizing and therefore you can get much longer food chains and I'll show you an example now. So here's an example of an aquatic food chain starting with our producer, the phytoplankton. That is eaten by krill, which is a shrimp-like organism, which is your primary consumer. Sardines feed on the krill, so they're your secondary consumer. The seagull feeds on sardines. And then a leopard seal comes along and snaps up the seagulls, so that's why it's a quaternary consumer. There is a potential for this food chain to be even longer, and that's if we add a killer whale, an orca, into the mix. The killer whale would be the quinary consumer, and it's also known as the top carnivore. It's a carnivore because it eats animals, it eats meat. It's the top carnivore because it doesn't really risk being eaten by anything else. So a lion would be another example of a top carnivore. Same with a leopard. So it's the organism at the top of a food chain which feeds on other organisms and isn't fed upon itself.